What's up guys, this is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about some oud oils. So oud is basically agarwood which is mainly grown in Assam. They also grow in some other countries like Cambodia, Indonesia and some other countries as well. But the Assam oud is very popular among the Middle Eastern countries. They are very very crazy about these Assam oud because they have this skanky character which for those who are addicted to oud will definitely understand what it is. So today's video is about real oud oil guys. So not many like it because of that skanky vibe it gives but for those who know the beauty of oud oils you might be interested in this particular video so i'll be talking about three different oud oils one is from al rihab and the other two are loose others which are real oud oils and these three are also from ajwat store okay so you might have to order it online because the store is in mangalore in case you're from Mangalore, you can definitely visit the store and then test it and buy it. But if you are not from Mangalore, you probably have to contact them. I will give their details in the video description area. You can contact them and they'll deliver it to you depending on your location because they do not have all the courier service which can be sent to all the locations in India. So it is kind of restricted. So you can contact them and check it out. So I'll first talk about Al Rehab Oud Al Fakir. So this is not very easily available in India. This is the presentation box. It is a 3 ml Oud oil and that's how it looks and the MRP what they have written is 1800 and this is the back. So this is how the opening is. The presentation is actually good. It looks pretty decent. So this is where it is and inside this you get this little maroon box and this is how the 3 ml bottle looks like pretty decent not bad at all okay again there is no roll on in this this is just 3 ml and it costs 1800 it has a dipstick here because it is real oud guys so not many would like this that's amazing for those who love real oud because it definitely has that skanky character but once you start enjoying the beauty of oud you will definitely like this so it is not meant for beginners so that's a caution note so do not blind by this and then blame saying that i suggested a wrong stuff so oud is something which is not for all it is definitely meant for a limited people who love oud oils and who know the beauty of the creativity of oud now talking about Oud Al Fakir by Al Rehab, this definitely has that skanky character in the beginning, but it also has that nice smooth raspberry note, which I can sense. I'm sure it is not just Oud because only Oud can smell a little different considering these two that I got. So I'll come to that soon. So this definitely has a slight fruity edge to it, which from what I can sense, I mean, to my nose, what I feel is the raspberry accord and that raspberry accord nicely covers that skankiness to give it a slight smoothiness though the raspberry is there you might still not detect it very soon because that skanky wood for beginners might be a little off-putting so do not blind by it unless you are an wood lover if you are an wood lover you will definitely love this one because it is beautifully blended very nice very smooth and the performance is absolutely great it projects about three to four hours and it gives a good lasting of 12 hours plus on my skin which is obvious because most of the real oud definitely performs that great so in case you can imagine that real skanky oud along with that nice raspberry accord this is something that you would love so that's about oud al fakir by al rehab not very easily available in india so you might have to contact them and check if they still have it so the details are provided in the video description area because this was the last piece left and that's why i grabbed it because i really love this one now coming to the other loose oud oils that they have at number two is oud hindi kadim okay this is from assam real oud assam because from the way it smells you will definitely get to know if you are already aware of how real oud comes so these oud oils are not like the ones which you get in your cheap perfumes like arma for latafa because they make oud in a synthetic way which is sometimes with cypriol oil or they have other chemical used in it synthetic methods to give that oud wipe so these two are not like that these are real oud and they are super expensive Hindi Kadim is basically from Assam. There is no roll on because the roll ball in it can never roll because of the thickness. It is very, very thick. And they give a dipstick here. Oh, that is too strong, guys. 
and it is definitely not meant for all like I said because the opening is very very skanky I enjoy wearing Oud only when I am alone so I think I've told this before as well I love Oud but it's just that I cannot wear it everywhere because it can be off-putting for many people you will hardly find 20% of the people who are into real Oud so that's the fact especially in India because if you are in Gulf countries 80% or 90% of them love Oud there and they will appreciate it if you wear the best of the best Oud oil so that's how it is it's a cultural difference and it's about what is commonly practiced so Hindi Kadim is basically from Assam and this 3 ml costs around 6000 super expensive because it is real wood they extract these oils from the resin that grows from the agar wood from that typical area because there are different methods of extracting oud oils even if there is real oud so i have one more assam oud which is real oud but it is not that expensive because it is not extracted from the right place like i said there are different processing methods and different methods of extracting oils the cheap ones are generally extracted from different parts of the agar wood but the most expensive ones the perfect oil of assam oud is extracted from the resin area which naturally grows sometimes they even inject the tree to boost the resin growth in the agar wood so it's a long story so let's not go into those details so this one is an expensive one 6000 for 3 ml super expensive it is only for those who love real wood so hindi kadim and the other one that i have is oud cambodia so there is a slight difference in oud both are agar wood grown in different parts of the world this is from assam india this is from cambodia okay so there is a slight difference and some people love assam oud which is the typical hindi oud some people go with cambodian oud so i'll tell you the difference of how exactly these two smell now talking about hindi kadim which is assam oud grown in india now this has a very animalic leathery kind of opening which is very skanky and can be very off-putting to most of the noses so do not blind by it unless you are already into oud because once you start enjoying the beauty of oud you will get addicted to it so that's how oud is generally that's why you see most of the middle eastern or people in dubai are oud lovers because they have been using oud from ages though oud is grown in india and we know that ajmal is one of the largest providers of oud oils and oud chips so they are crazy about ajmal brand in case you are not aware so it opens up with that skanky animalic leathery nuance and it gives the same vibe for the first three to four hours after which it turns slowly into a smooth taste of wood so that's how i can best put it across to explain you so that skanky animalic vibe slightly changes after four hours and i just used 0.05 ml of this one with that dipstick on my inner elbow and it was projecting even in the third hour because i did not i went to visit my cousin brother i obviously wore other fragrance but 0.05 ml i just applied it here when i was testing it and when my cousin just reached home which was after three hours i applied he asked me what is that woody smell that i can smell and i was actually surprised because i just applied 0.05 ml of this and I asked him, are you actually getting that smell? Because I was really surprised. I showed him my elbow and he backed out because he is not into oud and that's how oud oils are. He said, yeah, that's the smell, but from close it is even more worst. <laughs> so that's how he reacted. So do not wear it if you're going to meet people who are not into oud oils, but otherwise it is a beautiful creation, guys. For that you might take some time to develop your taste towards oud oils so don't compare it with armaf and lataf all those cheap oud fragrances what you try because they are not real oud at all so after four to five hours it slightly changes it gets a little sweet and it turns into that nice woody paste imagine you create a paste out of that i'm just trying to help you understand i'm not saying how these oils are made so if you can imagine a paste made of wood that's how this smells after four to five hours and it goes on for 12 plus hours i could even smell that pasty wood for about 15 hours on my skin on clothes i think it will stay for more than 48 hours so that's how this one smells now when it comes to cambodi oud 
okay Cambodia Ud. this is also 3 ml this is slightly lesser than Hindi Ud. this cost around 4,000 for a 3 ml this costed like 6,000 for a 3 ml so Cambodian Ud is slightly lesser compared to Hindi Kadim because I think the demand is more for Hindi Kadim or the Assam Ud by the Middle Eastern countries so Cambodian Ud costs around 4,000 so Cambodian Ud slightly differs from how Hindi Kadim smells Hindi Kadim is more animalic more leathery Cambodian wood is slightly different so I'll tell you how Cambodian wood smells like this opens up with a slight greenish type of wood okay it is a little earthy a little greenish of course this also has that animalic vibe but comparatively it is lesser than this so in case you do not like that too much of animalic leathery vibe then you can probably try Cambodian wood it also has that animalic vibe but comparatively lesser so do not blind buy this again it is more on the greenish type of wood a little bit herbal I can say so if you can imagine herbal type of wood that's how this one opens like this also I used less than 0.10 ml probably around between 0.05 to 0.10 ml similar to this one so I tried both left and right just to understand the difference so this is what I could sense this also projects for about three to four hours just with 0.05 ml and then after four to five hours smells like a very nice fresh food though for beginners it can still be a little off-putting because it definitely has that skanky vibe similar to Hindi Kadim but comparatively lesser so after four to five hours you would get that nice fresh wood vibe so that is why some people prefer Cambodian Oud over Hindi Oud which is the Assam Oud because this is slightly less animalic and after the dry down it smells more like fresh wood Hindi Kadim smells more like that wooden paste along with that animalic vibe this reduces that animalic vibe it smells more like fresh wood so in case you do not like that animalic skanky vibe in real oud Cambodian oud is what you might prefer so it all depends on your personal taste this also goes 12 plus hours on my skin so I think on clothes it can go about 20 hours I did not test it on clothes because it can get sticky and oily it can leave the mark so I only used it on my inner elbow on my right so I was testing it right, right and left though both performs the same Hindi Kadim seems to be more evident because of that animalic vibe so I hope you enjoyed this video this is mainly for those who love real wood stuff so these two do not have any mixture at all this is totally pure wood from what they claimed and I got this from Majwad so I'll be giving the contact details in the video description area in case you want to try it you can definitely try it out okay so that's about it let me know in case you have tried any of these wood oils let me know how many of you are into real wood stuff so that I get to know how many actually have taste for real wood comment down in the comment section see you next time soon keep sharing the videos thanks for watching again cheers